Okay. Do you know what I've just realised? I haven't even got a mirror to do my chippy makeup with. Where I am, you may ask, I'm actually currently cat sitting. Cat sitting. I know I didn't think it was a thing. Uh, but a really special family friend has a cat who she's in love with. I think I'm getting tonsillitis. I don't know. No? I don't know. We'll find out. It's like a game roulette, isn't it? It's quite exciting. Um, oh. Did you hear that click? That's what it was. And she's going away and she's a cat feeding and looking after. And the cat is a needy princess cat. So I am here to feed and water said cat. And I get the free reign of this house. And this house is actually, funnily enough, one of the houses I grew up in. I know, you're probably wanting a family tree here. You're probably working out who this is. It's my mum's ex. It's my mum's ex partner's house. Wild, I hear you say. Um, in fact, that's a conversation for a whole other day. Welcome to my look fantastic, get ready with me. I have not filmed a get ready with me in years. Not that anyone actually cares. I don't really get a lot of views anymore. But here we are. Those of you who do watch me care, I have got, I'm working with Look Fantastic. And I have got, oh, I've got a phone call. Hello. To bring you my everyday makeup look, I have ordered so much stuff off Look Fantastic. You're not ready. Of course I have a discount code for you. Of course, you know, it's coming at the perfect time for Christmas. My mum practically does all her shopping and Benjamin, my eldest brother, because he just thinks all women just love skincare, which we do. It's just an easy, safe bet, isn't it? All do their shopping and look fantastic for Christmas. And here I am giving you all a code. Use my code. <laughs> You'd be stupid not to use my code. So I basically ordered a fucking ton of brushes. I've actually had a little play with them already, so they're a bit dirty. All these brushes. Okay, I've got a new foundation. I say new. Um, I've actually been using a new one. for the, I'm sitting sideways because my chair doesn't fit straight on because there's a dresser in the way. This is such a professional setup, right? Now, this is the foundation I used in the last uh, vlog. Um, and I've since changed it, but I haven't done a look in so long. So I'm back to using the NARS Sheer Glow in shade Syracuse. I got a blush. I got some Benefit eyebrow products. Laura Mercier setting powder. Uh, Morphe illuminating spray. I even got a little uh, Burt's Bees lip kit, which I actually need to open and try out. Um, it's one of their tiny little sort of stocking filler gift sets. And of course, the sturdy Elizabeth Arden 8 hour cream. This is probably the best purchase out of everything. I'm not gonna lie, I have this tips everywhere with me. You can use a hour cream for your lips, your hands, your heels, your elbows, even, I'll even put it in my hair. If my hair's feeling a bit fluffy and dry and I need a little bit of like grease or serum just to, you know, I will just squeeze a little bit and just run it through over the hair. It is the best thing in the world. If I'm gonna put it on my lips right now, right this exact second, that is what it looks like. It's like a honey looking gel thing. As you will have seen in my live update video, I currently have nowhere to live in Holland, yet I'm returning. Wild, crazy, I know, live life on the edge. No, I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna view some places while I'm out there and I'm going to um, stay with friends the next few weeks. I've got so much work out there, I physically can't not return. Look, this is quite, it's like, it's a tad darker for me, but it matches my body. My face is really, really pale, just because I um, scrub it to buggery when I'm washing my face. Also, I don't really get it in the sun. I wear my SPF. It's a whole different ball game, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? Um, yeah, so I'm gonna just live with pals. Um, Vlogmas is a come in. I know you don't believe me. Those of you who are avid watchers will know that every year it's a promise I make and every year I don't deliver. However, this is the start of the new successful single queen. Um, and she's gonna deliver on things that she promises. Be the woman. This is a quote that my mum sent me in a book, right? Be somebody that people can brag. No. Be someone. Be the woman you know you can be. I don't know, I can't remember. It was something along those lines, but it really hit home. Do you know what I mean? Um, so that's what I'm doing. And I want to be um, even more successful and even more happy and at peace and all of the above. Isn't that, it's not what we all want, isn't it? Do you know what I've got really obsessed with um, doing and what listening to is Emma Chamberlain's podcast, The Girl Speaks Sense. Okay, the girl really, she speaks a lot of sense. You know, she talks, every podcast has a theme. It was anything goes at first and she just spoke about anything, but now she kind of has these really like wholesome topics. We talk about like, um, you know, resetting yourself, dealing with anxiety, how to be single, all this sort of stuff. And I forget, 
like I really do forget how young she is and how wise the girl is. Like she, she's got her shit together, everyone. She really, the girl's got it going on. And she's got one of the nicest voices. I'm just gonna go in now with Sephora's best skin ever concealer. I bought this in Paris. Okay, so she basically talks about all these sick sort of topics and she's got the nicest voice to listen to. And I will just have her on, you know, while I'm getting ready or, guys, I can't get enough of her. And she, and there's another girl, Anna, Anna at home, I think her name is on TikTok who make me, like, I can't wait to live alone. I can't wait till I find somewhere in Holland. I hope it's a studio. I'd love to live in like a really cool studio and make it so cozy and so nice. Like, I'd fucking love that. It's a tad out of my price range. So I'm, I think I'm gonna have to share. Makes me wanna live in a studio and I just, I'm so excited to be on my own. Don't get me wrong, I'm gonna have fun. I'm gonna go out with my friends. I'm gonna do what I'm doing. Do you know what I mean? I'm a 24 year old girl. But I also like just can't wait to have my own little pocket of peace in the middle of this really busy city that is Amsterdam. And Emma Chamberlain helps me do that. So I tend to put my concealer in like the high point. So round the eyes, I like to bring the forehead forward. Um, I do put it, actually I blot it out over the bridge of my nose. Because my nose is really bent and kind of mash up. If I just bring it forward and then send the tip back, it makes sense for me. So that's what you want to do. Like also, I get a lot of DMs of you guys saying I look really clean. I'm very clean. I'm actually, in fact, probably the cleanest. Um, I moisturise every day. I take care of my skin. And they say that my makeup looks clean, and that is genuinely because... What, do I wear a lot of makeup? Do I? Yes, I do the foundation, concealer, blusher, contour, eyebrow, setting spray. But do I wear a lot of those products? I don't think I do. Laura Mercier setting powder. I only got the little one, so I don't need a massive one. I don't set my whole face. I've just set my under eye and round my nose. And I got it in shade Honey, translucent honey. So I didn't get it in the lightest shade. I got the little pot. This is by far the, like, mm, I'd say these two, the cream and this. But out of the makeup, this is my best purchase. I can't get enough. My best friend Amy, when I go around to see her, uses all of my blusher and all of my powder, because it's amazing. So, bitch, if you're watching this, I've got you a discount code, go buy your own. <laughs> but it's amazing. I'm going to show you. It's quite banana-y. And also, the thing is of setting powder is you... I'm also using one of my Real Techniques brushes out of the set. You want it to be translucent enough that you... I've come more forward so you can see. That when the flash goes on in a picture, it doesn't reflect back to you. Now, they say you leave it to bake, right? But I, I don't. I just pat it in. I pat it in until it's all in. I have a fear. Once I did that and I left it and then I couldn't shift it. Like I actively couldn't shift it when I tried to push it away. Do you see how like much more set this side is to this side? I don't know if you can tell. Is that obvious? I feel like it's really obvious. I have a colonoscopy. I definitely haven't spoke about that. I have a colonoscopy on a Monday, the 29th, tomorrow. Yeah, not looking forward to it. I'm awake for it obviously and not really a fan. I've had so many now that it's almost like having hot dinners. I'm just used to them. Um, and they don't get easier. I think, no, actually I think it's a lie. I think they do get easier to a degree because I know the pain threshold, so I know how painful it gets. And trust me, it gets fucking painful. Um, but when I hit that point, I'm like, okay, I know it's not gonna get any worse than this, so just breathe through this now, and then you're on the way down. Do you know what I mean? You're riding it out. It's like going for a roller coaster. It's like chuk, 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 to that point, to that peak, and then after you get to that peak, it's like, oh my mother of God, Lord of Mercy, my God, and then you're fine, and then it's just a thing of the past. Gonna get an amen, thank you. So I then take my Real Techniques buffing brush to buff in my contour, and I use Max Mineralized Skin Finish in shade Dark Deepest. Everyone will wear this, and it suits their skin color. It is bizarre. Someone said to me yesterday that I was bougie. I said I couldn't be further from bougie. I don't even wash my hair every other day. Like, me! I don't think I'm bougie. I think I'm pretty goddamn down to earth. I think I'm an absolute tit. Like, I think, I don't know. I think I'm happy to make an idiot of myself. And I think bougie people wouldn't do that. They're all about image. I don't know. Is that the definition of bougie? 
I share like the wholesome side of my life. No? Really, that was like a bruise. I, I, not that there's anything wrong with bougie people because don't get me wrong, like I'd love to have that level of like <laughs> rating myself. But I like, I think as long as you like yourself, I don't think anything else matters. Like, there are, I know a lot of people that like will only be feeling themselves when they're like dressed up to the nines, ready to go out, ow, type vibe. Do you know what I mean? But I think the key to it, like, I don't know, bougie to me is just when you think, you think you're bougie, you think you're better than people, you think you're above situations. I just think I like myself. Like, I really like myself. Like, even if I've not got makeup on, even if I've not brushed my teeth and I'm laying in bed for two days, like, even if, like, I'm in a bad mood and I'm grumpy and I'm snappy at people, I'm not my best self, I still like myself. I still think I have the premise to be a good, a good person, you know? I know, look at the side, look at this brush, brush, look at this blusher brush. It's the best blusher. It's like an orangey, can you see that? It's just sort of, see the difference? I go in with my contour brush. Now this contour brush should actually be used instead of the buffing brush. No? But this is the thing. You buy yourself a selection of brushes like I did in a kit and you can choose what you do with them with the discount code. Look at that. And I just take this brush and I just sort of run it to blend everything in really lightly. I'm just sort of tickling it. Oh my God, I'm, I'm really using lingo. But yeah, so anyway, back to the discount code. So this code, applies on pretty much everything I think and I will leave it down below because I actually don't know what it is right now as I'm filming it but I will leave it down below I think you should really use it guys especially like they have everything on there now they even have multivitamins they have sex toys like look fantastic are delivering the goods I will get I get my vitamin d off there I get my folic acid off there I get my makeup remover Elemis collagen cleansing but look I'm nearly out guys I need to place another massive order this is the best makeup remover you will ever 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 use if you do one thing today if you do one thing after you've watched this highly entertaining YouTube video, it's by this. The Goof Proof Brow Pencil and the Gimme Brow Setting Brow Gel. Um, now, I've always had a really weird eyebrows. Like, they, like, tail off into this weird... Look at that. I actually have a scar there, so no hair grows anymore from when I cracked my head in primary school. Uh, eyebrows are the, like... Some, some people, pr like, pride themselves on their eyebrows more than they do any other part of their face. Yeah, some people pride themselves on their eyebrows more than they do any other part of their face. I know girls that will get their eyebrows semi semi permanently tattooed on, which is what I did. I got microbladed. It was the worst decision I ever made just because, well, it was painful. Uh, some people get them, like, go through all that stuff, of, like, lamination and stuff. Don't get me wrong, I love laminating a brow. I laminate my own brows. Um, but I just don't think, I think as long as you've got a good, your skin looks good, then you're good to go. I'm not going to wear any mascara. I'm going for these natural days where I don't have mascara, I quite like just the skin look. So I then take the Morphe Luminous Setting Spray. This is amazing. And it smells like cream soda. Oh. It's like crack. If you guys genuinely like cream soda, anything sweet, it just leaves you looking so dewy. So look how flat I look right now, right? I wouldn't say flat. I'd just say there's no dewiness going on. Give me a sec. Give me a sec. That sort of like shine on everywhere, that sort of dewiness. Look at that. Wow. And then whilst that's setting, I take my highlights, which everyone wonders what my highlights is because I don't wear the frostier colours. I wear the warmest highlight there is. And it is Mineralize Skin Finish in Gold Deposit. It's just beautiful. It's beautiful. And I have a really dense fan brush. I don't do the whole... I like pack it. Can't explain it. I pack it on. Let me show you. I actually just pack it on. I don't care. I want to look like I'm doused in gold. That's the makeup look, everyone. That was quick, that was short, that was easy. Um, I have actually brushed my hair today, so it looks a bit uh, Lord Farquaddy. Um, but that is my day-to-day -day makeup. That is what I use. Now, I also have an Illamasqua red lipstick, but you'll see that on my Instagram stories. I'm not gonna put a red lip on this look. I literally look like a lumberjack today. Um, but that was my look. I will link every single product down below um, and my discount code. Um, and yeah, I can't wait to see you guys again. I think there's going to be a video before Vlogmas starts. I'm pretty sure I've filmed a gift guide. You know what I'm like, I film stuff and then I never edit them. Um, but I am going to edit this and this is going to get out. Um, and I really look forward to seeing your looks. And like I say, my top tip for you guys, if you do not, if you want a natural everyday makeup look, my top tip for you guys is this. The dewier, the better and no mascara. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys soon.